a big bear break-in. I'm tired of having to fear our lives, quite frankly, because of what a bear may or may not do. Bridget Marchetti Phillip and her family lives across the street from where Hank, a 500-pound black bear, broke into their neighbor's Tahoe Keys home Friday morning. We have to uh, be able to protect our children, and we have to be able to uh, be able to walk out of our house. John Barrett and Philip share a family house in the neighborhood and are teaching their kids bear safety after years of seeing them in their neighborhood and backyard. It's really scary because we used to be able to go on like walks yeah. and bike rides by ourselves, but it's become like a bigger problem. So now we bring the bear horns whenever we go on walks or bike rides. South Lake Tahoe police found Hank inside a house after he got in through the window. Neighbors say this is the second time he's broken into the same house. Police had to scare him away. I went to the front door banged on the front of the house. Nicknamed Hank the Tank, Department of Fish and Wildlife have been trying to track and trap him with 38 homes already damaged in the area. These are neighborhoods and there's a lot of people around, traffic, cars, so we have to do this in a way that's safe for both the public and um, the bear itself. I've been in town 40 years, but I tell you what, I've been locking my doors recently and I've never done that. The more we don't feed them, the more that this isn't going to be the case. A bear burden, residents hope, and soon. I don't know who should be acting, but somebody needs to act. This has been going on for a very long time, and eventually something very, very bad is going to happen.